Let's talk about fence panels real quick. So I'm gonna stick with my hog wire fence panels because it matches the rest of my fence like that. Now, if you wanna see how I made these, I have a video that I'll just post in the upper right hand side that shows you how I made these. They're really easy, they're nice and light, and they're perfect for making a fence that you can remove. Now, what size do I have to make these fence panels? Well, if your posts are gonna go here and over here, this is bottom, this is top, you're gonna to want to take that measurement. So for instance, that measurement from inside post to inside post was 83 inches. And if you're gonna use what I'm gonna be using from tractor supply, minus four inches. So if it's 83 from post to post, this is gonna be 79 inches from outside to outside. And that's it, super easy. So like I said, I had four of those. They were all kind of different measurements. So I had to just make sure and subtract four inches from each one of those measurements. So what kind of hardware are we gonna to wanna to use? Well, I went to Tractor Supply and I got some hook and eyes. I love using these, they're super easy and they really install very, very quickly. Now over here, I have the Hardware Essentials screw hook, half inch by four inch. So this is half inch, half inch, and then this is four inches long. And then you're also gonna need some eyes. This is also by Hardware Essentials. And this is a 5 16 by three and a quarter. This hook fits nice and snug in that eye. So depending on how many panels you're gonna need, you're gonna need four hooks and four eyes per fence panel that you wanna remove. Go ahead and remove the nut from these eyes. You don't need that and grab yourself a quarter inch drill bit. And you're gonna want to make a five inch or six inch, seven inch, it doesn't matter. I'm doing five inch from the bottom up to here and then get your center. So one half inch, one, one and a half inches is three quarters. So I have a center mark right there. And then on the top side too. So this is the bottom and that's the top. Take your drill, put a hole all the way through it. And then we're gonna screw these in so that there's no more thread showing on our hook. Now, there's a reason why I'm telling you to do five, six, or seven, because if you have one fence panel, it's not gonna matter. You can put these all at five, all at six, all the way around, it's totally fine. But if you're doing multiple fence panels, those hooks that I showed you, they're gonna be competing for the same space in that post, so I have to alternate. So one panel, I'm doing these at five inches, and one panel I'm doing these at six inches so those lag bolts on those hooks don't get in the way because they're, they're gonna be going butt to butt pretty much if you do five and five. So I'm gonna make a drill here, here, and then on, on the other side at five inches and screw these in. This is what I was talking about, about these hooks competing for the same space. This one I have at five inches from top to here, and this one's at six inches from top to here, because look, if I had them both at five inches, I, it wouldn't be able to work. So make sure you alternate if you're having multiple fence panels. Okay, I made four holes all the way around on the sides, and now just take your eye and just grab like a crappy screwdriver in case you bend it, and you're gonna use this just to rotate this eye all the way down. And it's gonna have a nice bite to it because these are 5 16 and we made a quarter inch hole. So it's gonna be nice and snug. The threads are gonna take. And like I said, you wanna go all the way down until there's no more thread showing. Now we're gonna actually use these hooks and eyes to adjust level. So this is just a starting point with the threads out of the way. We can adjust these later. It's not gonna make a difference right now. and then have it perpendicular when you're done. Your eyes should now look like this. This is the bottom on the one side. This is the top on the one side. Like I said, at five inches, and the same thing with the left side right here, five inches and five inches. Now let's go put this on. Now here's where having an extra hand can be very helpful. I'm doing this by myself, so I put some shims on the bottom to make it 
the top here matched the same level as the fence panel over here. I did two of these already just so I can start my uh, level from my right hand side here. And this is pretty wobbly so I have this kind of holding it in place. It wants to kind of shift forward. But once you get it nice and level with the top of this, don't concern yourself too much with this being level because we're gonna to have to raise this side up more. But we're gonna put the hooks on one side first. That way the fence panel can sit on those hooks. And I'll show you how we're gonna do the hooks right now. So I'm choosing to do the right side. So I have my eyes resting on the post right here on top and on bottom. Now what I want you to do, grab a torpedo level and just stick it underneath that eye like that. Make sure your torpedo level is level. And just make a mark on the top side of the level. Do that for the bottom. Go ahead and get that fence panel out of the way. Now this line that I drew before, I just continued it over a little bit more to the left here. That's the bottom of our eye. Now the hook, we want that eye to sit right here on the bottom of our hook. So what I'm gonna do, there's probably some math involved with this, but I'm not choosing to do math. I'm gonna put the top of this right on that line, okay? Pretty close to it. And then just take your pencil and just kind of make a mark halfway down this half inch. So it's gonna be a quarter inch mark pretty much because when you go to screw this in like that, if you go right here where that line is, then this is gonna sit up about a quarter inch. So you wanna make sure and go below it so when you screw it in, it goes in at the right spot. Then find center, this is three and a half, so this ends up being an inch and three quarter. And then take a 23 64 drill bit and put some tape on it. I put the tape at three inches. I don't wanna go past three inches because then I'll pop out the other side of the four by four and it will look kind of janky. So just put some tape on it, that way you know when you get down to the tape, you can stop. So remember, you're going a quarter, a quarter inch below that line in the center. Once you have your holes drilled, go ahead and take one of your hooks and just start hand threading it into that hole. And once you can't hand thread it anymore, go ahead and take just like a big adjustable wrench. This is like a 12 inch, yep, 12 inch. Open it up and you can kind of go like this with it. You're not gonna ruin anything. And I'm gonna go down until this face right here is an inch and a quarter off the post, sticking up. There we go inch and a quarter. I'll finish the bottom one real quick. Both are in. Now take your fence panel and stick it in those eyes in those hooks. All right, just like that. Now we can swing it over towards our next post. Now take a level And here's where we're gonna shim the bottom over here. So I'm not quite level yet. I have to come up a tad bit more. It's always nice having just extra wood around to make some shims. You never know when you're gonna need them. That's pretty level right there. Now I'll show you how to put that side on. For this side, it's the exact same thing you did on the other side. Just take your level again on the bottom of the eye make a line and then pretty much go a quarter inch down in center and then drill two holes top and bottom and go ahead and put your hooks in. All right, once you get both of these in top and bottom, your gate or your fence panel still on the other side attached, go ahead and swing the fence panel towards you. And now here's where the adjustment comes into play. So you can't really see it here, but the center of my eye is kind of over this way a bit more. So I have to just 
put my eye in a little bit more on top and then on the bottom the same thing about a quarter inch so that's what i was telling you guys about the adjustments now it's easier for me to do the eyes than it is the hooks the hooks are a lot harder so i'm going to go in what i think is about a quarter inch on both sides swing it back around and eyeball it and make sure it lines up on those hooks and i'm pretty close right now maybe a bit more perfect now we can wrestle this onto this side this is where we struggle if you have two people this is easy super easy one person not so much so i got this side on right well i can't lift this on to that hook you know it's pretty stuck so i gotta lift the whole fence panel out of the way and then try and get both top both tops in at the same time this is really tricky Oh dang, just this one little side right here I gotta get on. Okay, we got it on there. So now I'm gonna finish one more of these and then I'll show you guys how it operates and show you some other tips and tricks uh, just to make it work out easier for labeling and then for actually driving over it just to show you some little tricks you can do to, per, to prevent your PVC from breaking. Now I wanna show you real quick the labeling system. So I have four panels to remove and three posts. So like reading a book, I start on the left. This is a fence panel one, post one. Fence panel two, post two, three, three, and then four. I just used house numbers from Home Depot and I screwed them on to the corners here. So when I go to take this off, I don't need to worry about putting them in a certain order because I could just put them back. One, two, three, four. Now the good part, we can break it down finally. And what's cool about this system is you can customize it. Say you only need to take out one panel, just take out one. Say you gotta take out two panels and a post. Take that out, the rest of it can stay. You're not affecting anything else in the system. For me, I have to take out all four panels and three posts to get my truck and camper back in here. But for demonstration purposes, let's just take out panel two, panel three, and post two. Now, like I said, I don't have to worry about putting certain panels and posts in certain areas to know which ones they are. All I gotta do is grab it, move it off to the side, That easy. Now I have 14 feet of space right here that I can move her stuff in, and then it's so easy to put back together again. All I gotta do is do the reverse. Now the post is really easy. That drops in. Here's where two people is key. One person, this is the hard part because you can't see both sides of your hooks. So I might struggle a little bit on this one but I'll eventually get it. It's just you have to be like a ninja to get these to go in at the same time. There we go. All right, it took a little longer than I wanted it to take, honestly. But like I said, you can't see both sides. With two people, this is really easy. One more thing before I end this series, I wanted to show you guys one trick of how to uh, prevent the PVC from cracking if you drive over it by accident. 
Go ahead and grab some extra 4x4. I thought I had some extra, I don't, so I can't really show you, but I can tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab some extra 4x4, take all the posts out, and then stick them inside of there, and then make a mark where the PVC is at the top, and then cut that excess 4x4 off. So when you go to drive over these, you can stick those custom plugs in each one of those holes. Make sure you have them numbered so you know which one goes where. And then also take like a one inch hole saw or something like that and go down about a half inch to like an inch deep. Knock that wood out of there and then take like, take like a lag bolt that you can go in the center just to give yourself something to pull this plug out of the post sleeve when you're done using it. If not, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get this out, all right? So that's it, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Please leave any comments down below or questions. I'll answer those uh, in a very timely manner. And if you can, hit that like button and subscribing is always free. Until next time, thanks for watching and take it easy.